Before you give up, watch this. This video is directed to you, the individuals who have been trying to manifest and create what you want, but for some reason, you're not getting there. Some of you may feel like giving up. Some of you may feel like, man, this is a waste of time. This stuff isn't working. What's happening? Let me help you. And there's great light at the end of that so-called tunnel. So look, here's something that I want to share with you to help you to understand that if you apply what I'm about to teach or reveal, you will make, you will make it. Here's the key. Persistence equals perseverance equals patience equals manifestation. Let me repeat that formula. Persistence, perseverance, patience equals all desires manifested. The three P's. I'm going to break them down and show you how the universe works and how your mind works and how your actual brain processes information. The first hurdle that many individuals face when it comes to creating something they desire or want is that all big elephant in the room it's called time ah yes that illusionary concept of time so it's the first step that will help you to remove yourself from time and yes you can actually remove yourself from time if you didn't know that let me prove it to you right now did you know that time is actually relative to the observer are you aware that your time and my time is two totally different times. So what does that say about time? It says that time isn't universal. There isn't such a past or a future. Everything is in the present. Our interpretation of it is our own intuitive understanding. That's the first concept you want to get. If you understand that, wait a minute, so there isn't really the time and my mind is... is, is beating me up and telling me it's taking long and years and months. First of all, there is no such thing in actual reality terms as a year, a month, a day, a week, an hour, a minute. doesn't exist. Humans created that. A year, what, 365 days, right? If you live on another planet, what, Mercury, 88 days for a year? Time is relative. Let me show this to you. So let's say if you traveled in space at 99% speed of light for a total, let's say, of five years. When you come back, you will intuitively be five years older than when you set on your trip. But guess what? Everyone on the planet would have aged 36 years. Do you see where I'm going here? So I'm just showing you how your mind can hallucinate this false concept of a prison of time that it's taken long. If you have to shift your perspective. If you shift your perspective, you can master time. Now, what's the other factor that stops us from getting what you want? That you want to give up. Again, the old mind. Your ego. It is constrained and it uses time. What does the mind say to us all the time? Ah, oh, it's not working. You've done this before. Trying too hard. Let's just give up. Let's just move on. Don't do it. Don't do it. I repeat it again. Do not do it. Because here's something that you must understand. Once you put persistence into something you desire, that is a feedback to your subconscious mind. You see, the thing about our minds is, our minds work with repetition. Repetition is something we have to repeat and repeat and we beat it in and the mind accepts it. When the mind accepts it, it becomes a program. It becomes a program, it becomes a belief. When it becomes a belief, you become an experience. When it becomes an experience, the aha, you get what you want. So there's no way around it. That's just how our minds work. 
So that's why persistence is very important. So what am I saying? I'm saying don't give up. Keep going. Keep persevering because you're having an, in, an impact in changing your reality. Let me show you something. Once you persevere or you're persistent into something, on the outside you may feel like, ah, oh, it's not working or I'm losing. No, you're not. Because on the inside, within the brain, within the, neuron, the neurons and dendrites and the synapses, they're all creating this new neural pathway. Things are working inside the mind. They're connecting your brain. They're creating a pathway, but you can't see it because of the ego, the mind that tells you it's taking too long. So this is why you must persevere with persistence. What's the next factor? Patience. Again, it goes to the time, right? So how can I be patient when my mind is showing me otherwise? For example, I don't see the things I want to desire. I don't see them. I, it's like I'm going an uphill battle. What do I do? Well, here's what you do. You have to change your perception. That's right. You have to now start to be fully present. If you practice presentness, you will see big shifts in changing your reality. Things will manifest. It, it, will, it will come so fast that you don't even realize it. Why? Because you're not immersed and you're not watching the clock, so to speak. The mind is. So how do you practice being present? Well, a very simple technique is this. It's to practice breathing. What else? You can also practice being engulfed or indulged in what you're doing. So if you're doing something, let's say you're maybe working on your car. Just keep your mind on that. Let's say you're washing the dishes. Keep your mind on that. Nothing else. That's being present. That means your hands are on the, the, the soap. You feel the soap. You have the brush. You feel the water running on your hands. You're, you're rubbing the dishes. You're turning them over. You're just fully immersed. That's being present. What else? If you're eating, if you're eating a meal, you're indulged within the meal. You feel the, the taste buds, how good it tastes. If you're drinking, you feel it going down. You're just immersed in your senses. Your mind is not looking for what you're going to do next or what's going to happen after or before. You're fully immersed. So once you start to do this, that's when you'll start to shift. You know, the thing about reality and how it works is, you know, a reason why a lot of individuals really give up is because they've been constrained or been fooled by their own mind because their mind says, if we can't see it, we can't get it. And it's also been ingrained and engulfed in our society, in our program. Here's the biggest one they tell us. Hey, when I believe it, I'll see it. That's what the mind holds. That is so inaccurate. That is so wrong. Here's how it really works. When you believe it, you will see it. That's right. Let me share a secret with you. Our universe, how we interpret reality, is based on what we call our story. Each of us has a story. Our story is a set of thoughts over time. They become repetitive. They become a belief. In other words, our reality really works on what we believe. You can choose beliefs that serve you. It's that simple. Then repeat that again. You can choose a belief that serves you. Here's what happens. If you see something in your life and it's not going according to plan, change your belief. Try it. Just say, hey, I choose to believe this. You know what? I choose to believe that what I desire is coming. I'll have it. I choose to believe that things manifest for me easily and effortlessly. I choose to believe the universe is always on my side. I choose to believe that I constantly get what I desire at the perfect time. If you choose beliefs in that sense and then you focus your mind on it, your subconscious mind is the one that takes the action. Remember now, it is very illogical. A belief is a truth. A truth to your subconscious, that is. And your subconscious now makes it an experience. So this is why it's important that you should not give up. You have to push. You have to believe. You have to be patient. You have to be persistent. And you have to persevere. Those three P collapse the universe into your favor. You see, the thing again about your mind is your mind will go as far as you go. If you go 100, it goes 100. So just keep going, keep pushing, 
and you will see your manifestation. The thing about this you have to understand is your conscious logical mind. Here's something. Its farthest reference is in your past. It will always go back to the past. The illusion of time. It will always go back there to try to prove something to you, to show you you cannot do it. You have to hear the mind but not listen. There's a difference. Let me repeat that. Hear the mind but not listen to the mind. Let that sink in. Hear the mind, not listen to the mind. In other words, whatever the mind says, you let it pass in and you release it with no attachment, no intention, or anything that will stop you. Because once you understand that our beliefs create our perceptions and your perception creates your reality, you will take everything else. Just like the illusion of time, the mind has constructed time in a linear format for structure. That's it. We made that up. Understand that fact, and then you will always be able to persevere and get your desires. Remember that. The three Ps, because the universe is always on your side.